My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales, and this is a detailed walkthrough tour of a 2006 Hylas 49. This boat is truly in very good condition, so please take a look at this video. If you're interested in this boat, do not hesitate. Give me a call and let's get you on board as I believe this boat will sell fairly quickly. So um, take a look at this video and enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna start our tour below the waterline. Um, as you can see, uh, she has a dark blue hull, white boot stripe, green bottoms uh, paint, <clears throat> bow thruster here, uh, which has been serviced for the season. You can see how there's a new um, uh, zinc anode there. Uh, if you take a close look at the bottom paint, you can see that there is some chipping on the bottom paint. So um, no, I wouldn't do anything at this stage, but sometime in the future, um, you may need to take this down. Um, the draft of the Hylus 49 is about six foot three inches. Uh, so it's a nice, nice draft for most areas. She's got a beam of a little over 14 feet. And length overall of about 49 feet. You can see there's a little dock rash uh, right there. But the hull is in nice shape overall. A couple little blemishes uh, like that area I just pointed out. Folding prop. Spur cutters. I'll step back a little bit so you guys can get a closer look. Um, we're up in Maine at Great Island Boat Yard right now. It's roughly 20 or so degrees outside, but um, this is a heated indoor storage facility. Um, Great Island Boat Yard is a fabulous uh, boat yard. Um, you don't keep your boat here unless you want top-notch service and this building is a representation of just how nice uh, this place is. Um, but let me hop up on the deck surface and we'll take a look up there. Up on the deck now, looking at, obviously she has decking, which is in really, the nice thing about teak decking is that when are in heavy conditions and the non-skid properties of teak is superior to any other non-skid. Um, so it's really nice when offshore to have teak decking as your non-skid surface. And as you can see forward, this is a real uh, anchoring setup on board. You've got a, a Maxwell anchor windlass, two foot pedals here. Um, you have a dual shiv anchor roller. Um, <clears throat> this owner has a huge Rockna anchor um, and you have another uh, station here if you wanna have another anchor. Anchor locker is accessed through here. And you've got an all chain road up there. It's a little dark for the video, but um, all chain road on board. Your stanchions are one by 19 wire, and you've got two boarding gates, one off to port, one off to, or sorry, one off to starboard, one off to port. Um, and then you've got a center uh, boarding gate aft as well. Once you get to midship, the stanchions are all stainless steel. Life sling, uh, you have Winslow life, life raft, which does need to be serviced. Um, this is a great seat uh, while underway. 
to sit here and look forward and enjoy the view. Um, the Durade vents here are all stainless steel and of high quality. It's nice because they can turn depending on uh, the wind direction if you want more or less ventilation, depending on where the wind direction is coming from. All main ship stainless steel hatches. <coughs> the uh, hatches here are all stainless steel of the best quality. This particular boat is hull number 50. Uh, of the series so they've had plenty of uh, builds previous to really dial this boat in um, the owners did add these davits for a tender and there is an aluminum AB tender that does go with the boat <clears throat> this uh, this right here is a, a spot for a stainless steel mast where you have a crane for your outboard engine and also some um, avail availability for mounting antennas and whatnot. Um, bomb overboard module. And we'll just walk forward on the port deck. You'll see all these um, fixed ports, opening ports throughout the boat. There is a tremendous amount of natural light that gets down below and your derailed vents here are protected for your headsails. They even have these stainless pieces here so you can attach halyards to get them off the mast um, so you don't have the halyards banging up against it at night. Really nice dodger system. Um, and up on the bimini, you can see here there's some stitching and that is for two solar panels port and starboard to be mounted up here when she is in the water and fully commissioned um, and I believe they're 160 watt each you can take a look at the listing for that detail um, so you have a lot of juice um, from those two solar panels uh, and that gives you the ability to basically run refrigeration and lights and you really don't need to run the generator nearly as much. Center cockpit, of course, on the Hylus 49. Uh, this cockpit is wonderful on offshore. You've got electric primary winches and manual secondary winches. Um, this is your uh, main main sheet right here but when you're in the cockpit there's a lot of comfortable seating you've got a nav navtronics pod here bow thruster control autopilot um, you put your VHF radio right here table that flips up that's varnished teak And now let's head below. Before I head below, I'll just do a quick pan. I love this salon. It is so cozy and comfortable. So let's pop down right now and have a closer look. So this is an ultra suede material in excellent condition. I love the lighting on board these boats. Um, it's such a nice place to sit and relax. You've got a fixed table with leaves that pop out to enlarge the size. And this auto, this can be a, a seat here, but I also find it very comfortable putting your feet up as an ottoman when you're relaxing, when you get to your final destination. So. I like the versatility of that and she can be pushed right inboard um, so it doesn't affect the flow as you go fore and aft on the boat. Beautiful woodwork, 
it's in excellent condition. This boat does show as well as she looks in the photos in the video. Liquor locker. No signs of any leaking from any of the ports. You do have some light varnish. See, it's getting a little light right here. That needs to be sanded and refinished, but it's in also same with right here. It's a little light. So that needs to get sanded and refinished. You know, this, this trim work gets hammered by the sun. Um, so it's common for that to need to get done, but everything else on board here from a woodwork perspective, upholstery perspective, looks in really nice condition. Nav station, full AC DC setup here. This boat was set up to go to Europe as well. So there is, you'll see these plugs here. There is some 220 uh, power as well. Uh, smaller Raymarine E80 down at the nav station. This is a multifunction display here. Um, you have a satellite telephone. This is a remote for your autopilot, which is of course up at the helm. So you can change course using that if you're up at the bow or in the nav station or anywhere, which is great. Um, storage underneath. This is a nice drawer here just for files to keep organized really like that it's a great nav station well lit as well love the raised panel woodwork that's throughout the boat um, this cabin is um, all cabins have heat and air conditioning there is a generator on board there's a water maker on board taking a closer look at the galley this galley is very clever, really well suited for offshore sailing for you know, people that really are planning on going the distance on their boat. Um, and what I mean by that is when you're heeling over, you're well secured in this galley. Um, and so you don't, you can um, push up against either side here. You know, what? I'm just going to show you. I think that'll be easier rather than trying to explain it. So when you're standing at the galley, you can be well secured if you're going to be cooking up a nice warm meal for the crew. Um, you can put your feet up against either side and be leaning up against the back end here. And you're just nicely secured. You can easily move forward to get something in the refrigerator and then slide back even in the worst of conditions. So this is a really wonderful um galley in that or set up in that um regard um, you also have an opening port over the stove as well and i'll show you in a minute you have one over the sink uh where you're going to be spending most of your time so uh, you also have these cubbies here which are nice and set up for plates so they're easy to grab easy to store and they don't fly around either when you're underway. The amount of refrigeration on board is really great. It's all 12 volt. So again, can be supported by, uh, this is a, a freezer refrigerator. Um, so it can be supported by the solar panels up um, on the Bimini. Various amounts of storage. Throughout, again, I'm a sucker for these race panels. Very elegant. And you can see just how well this boat has aged over time. Um, the cabinetry is in excellent shape. Uh, this is a microwave with also a toaster, which is quite clever. Um, and one thing that a lot of, of galleys tend to forget is having a decent size trash can. So it's nice that they incorporated that on this galley. And again, all sorts of storage throughout. Since we're back here, we might as well head to the master. 
large master with um, Island Queen. And this mattress is a real mattress. I'll show you a photo of the mattress so you guys can see. But um, certainly it's this is a stateroom which is intended for people to be spending many, many nights aboard. Um, there is a huge amount of storage in this cabin. There is a dedicated, uh, I think it's a 9,000 BTU uh, air conditioning unit here. You also have um, underneath the berth here, you have a auxiliary fuel tank, 50 gallons, and you have four, um, f you have three 4D Lifeline AGM batteries, which have just recently been replaced. So, um, and it's all easily accessed underneath this berth here. Uh, one thing we are working on right now is that light is uh, out to be replaced because um, it wasn't working. But um, you can see you have two opening window ports here, opening overhead hatch here, and some more opening ports. So you, you get plenty of natural ventilation. You may also remember the Duray vents that are right here. Um, these are just capped right now, but um, you've got plenty of natural ventilation with also the 12 volt fan here. And of course, storage, uh, which is all cedar lined throughout the boat. Show you a couple. And you, here is your ensuite head. I should point out, uh, I'll point out this soon here, but access to machinery spaces, this is access to the front section of the um, generator. Ensuite head, uh, vacuum flush, electric, freshwater head, um, sink vanity, and stall shower. You can see how uh, nice the surfaces are. It's really easy to keep this head nice and clean. Uh, quick wipe down after a shower and you're good to go. All right, now let's head forward. Just to look at how nice the cabin sole is. We're gonna pop into this third stateroom. This berth is raised up a bit to accommodate for washing machine. And I don't think you'll be able to see this very well because it is dark with the camera, but there is a lot of storage underneath here as well, which is fabulous. You can see that duct for our air conditioning. Um, and this is a filler piece here if you wanted to enlarge this berth. Opening hatches, really nice third cabin. Pocket doors. The Ford VIP, as you can see, there is gear stored in here. Remember we are in winter storage mode, so um, you've got a couple sails and canvas and whatnot. Their solar panels are underneath, are underneath here. Um, so I apologize for that, but your water maker, you have a 12 volt more water maker on board, which is underneath this uh, seat there. Um, this is again, another air conditioning unit for the guest staterooms and plenty of storage on board underneath here as well. Really nice. Finally, uh, you have your uh, guest slash day head. Uh, there is a privacy door here for your Ford VIP. Uh, there's another door to the head, uh, which your uh, Thursday room can access and your guest can access during the day. Um, good size head, sink vanity as well. Um, same um, vacuum flush, electric, uh, freshwater head and storage is behind these mirrors. So, really nice. Now we can head towards the machinery spaces, so I can show you that real quick. Gaining access, access to the machinery spaces on board, the IS-49 is really quite simple. And they give you all these hatches all around to get to all sides of the engine 
and of the generator. But um, this is particularly impressive to me. You have a dual Raycor uh, filters here with a, with a selector valve so you can change which filter is, um, is engaged. And you even have a um, vacuum gauge as well, which will tell you when that filter is starting to get clogged. So if you do have uh, a dirty filter while underway, all you need to do is flip that valve, keep going, and you can change it when you get into port. So no changing fuel filters while underway, which is very nice. Engine space is quite well lit. Um, <clears throat> you do even have some 110 outlets in here, which is really nice if you need some more light or, or you want to get a shot back in here or anything along those lines. Um, large alternator here. Uh, this Yamar engine has roughly 2,500 hours on our engine, which is not too not too bad. And um, if memory serves me correctly, there's very low hours on the Whisper uh, generator. You can look that up on the on the listing, but I believe it's under 100 hours, which is it's very low hours. Um, Seagull uh, water purifier for your fresh water system. Um, there is a reverse oil change pump for engine transmission and your generator <clears throat> and i'll just give you another view over here and we'll walk around give you another view here another thing i'm i really like about offshore sailboats is this rack and pin sort of steering this is your this is your steering um right here and it's all rod and gears so there is no cable to jump a shiv to stretch out so um it's a really great rugged system also a master um you can see that there's um there's just a really rugged steering system rugged quad quadrant on this boat um, which is very nice. Master Volt Whisper 8 generator. Very nice to have. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough tour of this Hylos 49. If you have any questions, please do feel free to reach out to me using the information below this video.